Did you know that the tortoise has one of the longest mating durations in the animal kingdom, clocking in at an impressive 24 hours? Now humans, on the other hand. Today's topic is a fascinating one. We're talking about the average duration of human intercourse. This isn't speculation or hearsay, but based on worldwide data collected by urologists, it's a subject that's got many curious and even a bit competitive. So let's dive into the numbers and see how we compare to our slow-moving friends. You might be surprised to learn that the average duration of intercourse is not as long as you might think. So, let's dive right into it. When we talk about the average duration of intercourse, we're looking at a global perspective. This data has been compiled from numerous studies, surveys, and research conducted all over the world. It's not just about the numbers, but also about understanding the human physiology, the nuances of sexual relationships, and the impact of various factors on sexual performance. And who better to analyze and interpret this data than urologists, the medical experts who specialize in the male and female urinary tract and the male reproductive organs. Urologists and researchers have invested countless hours in understanding the average duration of intercourse. They've delved into the intricate details, scrutinized the data, and worked to provide a comprehensive picture of what's happening in bedrooms across the globe. You may be wondering, how do they even collect this data? Well, it's a combination of surveys, self-reported studies, and clinical trials. Participants across different age groups, cultures, and backgrounds share their experiences and perceptions, contributing to a rich pool of data. It's important to remember that this data is anonymous and confidential, prioritizing the privacy of the individuals involved. So, what's the verdict? On average, across the globe, intercourse lasts for about five to seven minutes. Yes, you heard it right, just five to seven minutes. It's a far cry from the marathon sessions often portrayed in movies and popular culture. But remember, this is an average, meaning there are plenty of instances that fall both below and above this range. It's also important to note that duration isn't everything. Quality of the experience, mutual consent and pleasure are far more significant than the ticking clock. The length of the act is just one part of a much broader, more complex picture of human sexuality. But how does this compare to what men and women believe is the ideal duration? Well, we're about to delve into that next, exploring the perceptions and realities of sexual duration. So, stick around as we continue this intriguing journey into understanding the dynamics of intimacy. When it comes to the duration of intercourse, perception and reality can often diverge. That's a statement that might raise a few eyebrows, but let's delve into it and see what we find. You see, when asked about the ideal duration of intercourse, responses vary drastically. Some might say 10 minutes, others half an hour, and some even go as far as suggesting an hour or more. But when we compare these perceived ideals to the actual average duration, we stumble upon an interesting discrepancy. Urologists worldwide have collected data and the numbers tell a different story. The average duration of intercourse from penetration to climax is usually between 5 to 7 minutes. That's right, not 10, not 30, not an hour, but 5 to 7 minutes. Quite a stark difference from our earlier mentioned ideals, don't you think? So why does this discrepancy exist? Well, a big part of it has to do with how sex is portrayed in the media and popular culture. Movies and television often paint a picture of long-lasting, passionate encounters, creating an unrealistic expectation. This, coupled with a lack of open, honest dialogue about sex, can lead to misconceptions about what's normal or ideal. Another factor contributing to this gap is the variance in individual experiences. We're all unique, and so are our bodies. Some people naturally last longer, while others may not. It's important to remember that there's no universally agreed upon perfect duration. What matters more is the quality of the experience and the satisfaction of the involved parties. That being said, it's totally natural to want to enhance your stamina in bed. After all, who doesn't want to make good things last a little longer? But it's also crucial to keep our expectations grounded in reality and remember that the most important thing is mutual satisfaction and enjoyment. But what if you want to last longer? Is there anything you can do? Well, stick around because that's exactly what we'll be discussing in the next segment. While there's no magic bullet for lasting longer in bed, there are a few tips and techniques that can help. Now let's dive into some of these techniques. One of the most effective methods is strengthening your pelvic floor muscles. These muscles are key to controlling ejaculation. You can work out these muscles through Kegel exercises, which involve contracting and relaxing the muscles that form part of the pelvic floor, often while you're doing other routine activities. Next up, consider using thicker condoms. This might sound counterintuitive, but thicker condoms can reduce sensitivity, 
and help you last longer during sex. They're just as effective as regular condoms and available in the same sizes, too. Another technique is the start-stop technique. This involves stimulating your partner or yourself until you feel like you're about to reach orgasm and then stopping. After the urge to climax subsides, start again. This method can help you gain more control over your ejaculation. Deep breathing is another simple yet effective strategy. Deep, slow breaths can help to reduce anxiety and delay ejaculation. Try combining deep breathing with other mindfulness techniques such as focusing on the pleasure of the moment rather than worrying about when you might climax. Masturbating an hour or two before sex can also help delay ejaculation. This technique is based on the idea that it might be more difficult to reach an orgasm quickly after you've already had one. Lastly, consider talking to a healthcare professional. They can provide personalized advice and treatment options, including medications if necessary. Remember, it's essential to maintain an open line of communication with your partner. Exploring these techniques together can create a deeper connection and make sex more satisfying for both of you. And don't forget, practice makes perfect. The more you apply these techniques, the better you'll get at controlling your climax. Remember, everyone is different, and what works for one person might not work for another. So, don't be discouraged if the first technique you try doesn't work. Keep trying different methods until you find what works best for you. So, while we may not be able to compete with the tortoise, it's clear that there's more to intercourse than just duration. Just like we've learned today, the average duration of intercourse varies greatly from one couple to another, with urologist data collection revealing a range anywhere from a few minutes to around half an hour. But remember, these are just averages, not a rule book. We've also delved into the realm of perceptions versus reality. It's fascinating to see the contrast between what men and women believe to be the ideal duration and what actually happens in reality. The key takeaway here is that it's not just about the stopwatch, but about the connection and satisfaction shared between partners. And let's not forget the practical tips we've shared on how to potentially extend the duration of intercourse. From mindfulness techniques to certain exercises, there are various ways that might help men last longer. However, it's important to note that these methods may not work for everyone. At the end of the day, the most crucial point to remember is that everyone is different. There's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to sexual satisfaction. It's not a race or a competition. The focus should always be on mutual enjoyment and satisfaction, rather than just the ticking clock. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative and entertaining content like this. Thanks for watching.